Okay, so this is the Lion 4 heavily damaged thermocouple in this plastic. And you'll see why I've got it in that plastic in a second. And uh, what I want to do is to do a magnetism test. So I have this uh, uh, lovely set of uh, neodymium uh, cubes here. And of course, it's meant to be a stainless steel sheath, so it should not be magnetic. Uh, uh, that's as it started out. Uh, so what I will do is the least affected area up this end first. Okay. Little to nothing there. Go here. Okay. So already from here, it's very uh, uh, ferromagnetic. So, so where's the transition? There seems to be a transition here. I can feel a really little bit of a pull. Okay, now it's joining onto the bolt there. So you can see what it is like when it's actually ferromagnetic. So here, doesn't appear to be much magnetic. and uh, doesn't appear to be attracted to the magnet much. And I'll go down here. Okay, so I imagine these bits from the end, yeah, they're okay. So the bits from the end are completely magnetic. Okay. Now, uh, as we thought, it looked like ferrite crystals, and uh, ferrite crystals are magnetic. Now, this will hold the magnetism now, so I imagine if I put the uh, magnetometer from uh, this camera here, on there now these pieces would be highly magnetized okay so that's uh, the nature it has converted from something that's non-magnetic stainless steel to something that is magnetic